I approach very slowly. And there's a moment I know, I can't explain, but I know they accept us. It's something you can feel. The size, the sound, the color, it's a magnificent animal. I have a, a very good friend ask me, why did you choose blue whale? So I answered, I didn't choose blue whale. And she said, ah, they choose you. Oh, they're going down. They're going down with a fluke. Oh. I first came and discovered this beautiful area of the Gulf of California in 1985. It was my interest in knowing about the sea. I was thinking of oceanography. So I applied as a volunteer, but my goal was to learn how to drive boats. And <laughs> Seriously, it was not the well that brought me there. And then asking, every day I was asking questions, and everybody was like, we don't know. What about that? We don't know. So I was like, wow, we don't know much about whales. So that triggered my interest. My name is Diane Gendron. I'm Canadian, but I live in Mexico and I've been at sea during the winter looking for those blue whales. More than 30 years, yeah. So a uh, big part of my life. It's like a, a blessing to be so in close contact with those giants. The power of the blow tells you how large a whale is. These are precious. Oh, now it's turning. Wow, it's coming. At us. Look at that. Don't make noise. Come on. What you can see outside at surface of the water is just a little part of their body. Maybe from the blowhole to the dorsal fin, sometimes the tail, but it's just a little part of their whole body. We have only a couple of minutes at surface and there they're gone. Every whale is different. So we take picture to identify them. It's like a fingerprint. It's a little bit more knowledge every year. I think it's worth it. Not just with what happened to the social life of these well, but their health and why some years they're so skinny, you know, like the last couple of years, and now they seem to be much better. Very calm as the sea. The Gulf of California and the area with all these islands, it's probably one of the few places in the world that it's so remote and so tranquil and less developed. Yeah, that, that's the word, less, less developed. So you feel like you're in a place where it hasn't changed for thousands of years. 
And that's probably why blue whales still come here. You know, after several years, when I started to do research, I had this objective. What can I do to make sure that this area will always, always be a good place for them? So maybe they choose me for that.